The story of little fake diamonds. It wasn't that elves didn't enjoy heaven. That would be a ridiculous theological impossibility. She just felt she wasn't needed. Sure, she had her job in the cafeteria, and gold streets don't shine themselves. She wanted to talk to God about her problem, but he was busy watching sparrows. She made her decision alone, and left. Dim felt ill at ease in hell. He did not mind the torturing, and set up some fairly diabolical punishments, but his heart was not in it. Dim went to his counselor, who tried to eat him. But what, else, what in hell did he expect? Els found a side of a little house to rent. Dim found the other side. Els bought some clothes that weren't white. Dim bought a shirt. They both found work in the same Pan-Asian restaurant. Els worked at night. Dim worked in the day. And they never met. No one seemed to notice Elsa's wings, and eventually her halo disappeared. She dyed her hair, she went dancing at least once a week, and ate at various restaurants, and in general had a good time. She really didn't feel different. Dim only worked and slept. He felt a lot better than he did before. Hell doesn't care about the ones it loses, and heaven knows it can't force them home. Els eventually married and a good-hearted but ultimately worthless exterminator. They had a few children. Els, Els sometimes thinks of heaven, but mostly just of bills. Dim saved up and bought a wife from back home. She was pregnant within three hours, had twins 23 months later, and left. One of the babies was a girl he named her Alice. Els had a son named Ernest. Ernest and Alice dated for a while. It didn't work out. The exterminator eventually, or rather uneventually, died. Over time, Elsa's children moved away. She spent most of her time taking care of her garden. Dim retired from the restaurant. They threw him a party. Alice took care of Dim. She never married or had children. Dim had thousands of grandchildren anyway. Dim and Els died on the same day in the same hospital. Els was buried at the cemetery not far from the restaurant. Dim was buried one grave over. <laughs>